got to be kidding me. We had to look good. We had to play good. Man, that kid has got some good hands. Pick it to Pickens. Pick it to Pickens, as we like to say, Billy. Fires for the end zone. Touchdown, George Pickens. George, take me all the way back to your exit interview after your rookie season with Coach Tomlin and just the discussions that you guys had. Uh, it was really just like being routine and everything you do. So like that's blocking, you know, running the right route, just, you know, being scheduled for everything you do for a for. And how did you approach that this off season to come in and be ready to improve on this, those things in year two? Yeah, uh, the biggest thing I did in the off season this year was probably just run after catch. Like I was doing a lot of mostly like running back drills. Okay. Just to uh, help me when I do catch a ball, I can, you know, get some yards after. And were you doing those somewhere specific or with people? Uh, for one, like the beginning of offseason, I trained all the receivers. We went to Miami and threw with Kenny. Right. And then after that, that's when I kind of started that regimen, just working on the run after catch. What was that like when Kenny says, guys, hey, here's where I'm going. You guys are all the skilled players go and you guys just have time to yourselves. Uh, it was really just a great thing to have time to ourselves, like you said. Uh, the camaraderie kind of boosted everything. Mm -hmm. uh, guys like Dez, uh, Tay, uh, Calvin, we were all there. And it wasn't like, you know, we got to be here or be there. So we could just have a little fun a little bit. And that was just uh, great to see just out of all the guys being there. So having that this offseason, OTA's mini camp, it's a training camp. Did you guys find an identity as an offense? Uh, yeah, uh, I'd probably just say Mo composed for real. That was like the biggest identity I, me personally, took from it. And that was just because all the guys were just, you know, laid back, chill, and they were doing their assignments, like, you know, pretty efficiently than it was last year. Do you think it's just because it's another year of being together and you guys were such a young group and there was some, yeah. you know, ups and downs last year? Yeah, I feel like uh, the age, you know, you know, everybody's first time go around in anything is going to mm -hmm. be kind of like a tough thing. And uh, I feel like now, like you said, way more comfortable year two, uh, knowing the plays, knowing the coverages. So, yeah, it's way more composed group for sure. Alan Robinson, a veteran, joins you guys in the off season. He's your roommate at training camp. Yeah. What's something that you learned from him that really helped you? Uh, really a guy that just, he knows everything. Uh, so he really don't say as much, but uh, for a player like me that has, you know, a very high ceiling, he was telling me like, you know, certain depth on routes, just really savvy things that I didn't even know. I thought, you know, sometimes we play football, you like, you, you think you know everything, but he was, he was telling me stuff that I didn't know for sure. In terms of also training camp last year, Coach Tomlin put you against Minka. This oh, yeah. year you got to go against Joey Porter Jr. You know, kind of like you were the rookie last year. Now there's a rookie yeah. this year. Um, how much did that help you as obviously it helped him? Yeah, it helped me a lot, uh, like you said. Uh, and it helped Joey, I feel like, a lot, uh, just in terms of competing. Uh, when we go to Latrobe, that's really the biggest thing out of all like uh, aspects of the game as far as being smart or doing this is really a gritty, hard working time. And uh, like you said, it was bringing the best out of everybody by us competing. He said he's a bigger trash talker than you. Is that true? Uh, I don't know about that because uh, <laughs> I, I, I talk so much trash, like I can't even say it on camera. The stuff I, <laughs> you feel me? So he probably can. He's, he's a little more, you know, PG. <laughs> <laughs> Training camp, some of your crazy catches, they start to go viral. Um, take me through the ones that you know you have on your phone and why you keep them and do you watch them? Uh, I don't really watch them as I used to, like when I was in college. Uh, but they're just like old archive videos that I got on my phone. Uh, the craziest things that I've done by just catching the ball has been like over the years now. Like uh, as a kid, like you said, high school, college. Uh, so I always have been like, you know, fun to, you know, making crazy catches. But uh, as far as like me looking back at my phone, every once in a while, like if it pops up as a memory mm -hmm. or if it pops, if it brings to my attention, I'll probably watch it. Talk to me about your brother and just how much he helped you growing up and helping mold you into the football player that you are because he was a defensive back. My brother really helped me in really the whole game of football just by him being a defensive back and me wanting to play receiver. Uh, that wasn't even planned. Uh, I used to play running back. So uh, he just used to encourage me. Uh, used to be super, super tough. He's seven years older than me. So like it was just a more like of a older, older brother, a true older brother yeah. figure. Yeah, a little so, unfair. Yeah, a little unfair. I was, uh, you know, when he was in high school, I'm catching high school balls. You see what I mean? Everything was just to level up, everything that I did, just being around my brother. And how much has that helped you throughout your career? Obviously, at first, it's it's very unfair, but it yeah. clearly got better for you as it went on. <laughs> uh, 
it helped a lot. It just transfers into like my last year being, you know, like an outstanding rookie. Uh, this year trying to continue that. Uh, just never really being caught off guard. That's like the biggest thing that, uh, that really brought that out of me. Never really being shocked by somebody being bigger or stronger or anything like mm -hmm. that. You had said that Patrick Peterson was one of your favorite players growing up. Why were you gravitated towards somebody who was on the other side of the ball? His way to fame. Uh, <laughs> the way he did things at LSU, that was really like the biggest thing for me. Uh, I watched him a little bit in the league, but when he was at LSU, that was like, he was my favorite player. Uh, my brother played DB, he played DB. My brother's getting recruited by LSU. So it was like a whole, whole little crazy backstory. I got to meet Pat Pete, like when I was like seven or eight. Unplanned recruiting trip too, like, uh, they beat Alabama at a home game at LSU. Everybody stormed the oh, field. Yeah. Like, we were not even supposed to be on the field. It was just a <laughs> crazy mishap how, to, how I met him. Thanks, George. For sure.